Hi, this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the relay station. We bring the news to you. I just came in the door. I was down at the apartment, had to do some things, make a phone call, and I was very, very frustrated with a business that I had, I had to talk to, with a company that I had to talk to. I could not, at the first time I called, I could not get a person to talk to me. It was everything like go online, do this, do that. And we know what that's all about. We've been through that. And um, I didn't want to do that. So I hung up, called again, finally hit enough numbers, I guess, that I actually got a representative. And I got someone who, again, explained to me how they could not do what I was asking them to do. It was a simple request. Um, they kept telling me to go online. You can do it there. You can download the app. I said, no, I do not work for your company. I'm not doing that. I want a representative to help me with this. Finally, after a little bit of persuasion, I guess, I was nice, but yet I, I, the person knew I was very frustrated, nicely frustrated. So they finally got on um, to another person who could help me. Well, they did that indirectly. So as we left it, this person that I was talking to, a young man, very nice young man, is um, checking with other people who's gonna call me back. So hopefully he will, and we'll get that taken care of. But I came in the door thinking, okay, God, one more time, I've got to be frustrated with the way this world is turning out. I, it's not the way it used to be. People do not have integrity. They do not have um, a thought or a care for what you're going through. And that's how I was seeing it. That's how I was really perceiving this, this particular circumstance. But I did get someone that after I did speak to them in a way that was a little more personal and I, I told them I'm not blaming you. I'm blaming this on the way the world is. I know this is not you. You have to follow what you want to do. But then he went ahead and went the extra mile. So right now he's walking that extra mile. So I hope it will come out, you know, a good outcome. Anyway, I drove back up here to the campground. We'll be here a few more weeks for the season. And I wanted to read a scripture because I needed to anyway. So this is very familiar. This is Proverbs three, verse five, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Who's going to direct my path? Am I going to direct my path? No, I'm not going to direct it. I'm going to have a hand in it, but I need to listen to the Lord and allow him to direct my path because my path is the path I'm walking on. Your path is the path you're walking on. They all look different. None of them are the same, but God is the same. God is the same always. He continues to love us, take care of us, and he will get us through and to the other side. So I just wanted to encourage you. I had to encourage myself because I was getting really frustrated. I've gotten really frustrated with the way the things look in the world right now. The lying, the cheating, the deception, the lack of integrity, the lack of patience, just, you know, and I'll put that back on myself too. We get impatient with things and um, we're just being bombarded by the changes that are happening and um, we can't lose sight of who we are and whose we are. So I just wanted to share that. Proverbs 3, verse 5. There are many other scriptures that can give us hope. Many other scriptures that will take us down a road of calming down and allowing God to move into first our spirit, then our soul, then our body. So Lord, thank you for helping us. Thank you for giving us peace your peace, which your word says, passes our understanding. I don't have the understanding for all this stuff. I do get some of it. I do understand the world's changing. And the Bible tells us that the world is going to be changing. You get to the back of the book, you will be, oh my gosh, you see that it's happening right now. But anyway, I just wanted to stop, come in the door and read a scripture because that puts everything back on a, on a different level. It just puts everything on a different level. Stop. Let's trust God with what we have. Let him give us the directions. He will give us step one, step two, step three. He will give us favor with those we need to deal with. He will give us the things that we need. And he will show us how to do what we need to do. Maybe we have to walk through a hard time. He says we will have to do that in his word. Jesus said that. But 
we cannot forget that he's with us. He has the solutions and he has the answers and he is the one we can go to all the time, every time, every day, every second of the day to receive what we need. So trust not in our own mind. Let's trust in God. Let's trust in what he tells us. If we don't hear from him as, as the way we want to hear from him in our soul and our spirit, his instructions are in here as well. And all we need to, to do is to take a little pause and see what God's saying about it and understand and listen that other people are going through things too. The air just clicked on, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this down since it's a little noisy. But anyway, <clears throat> this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the Relay Station. I'm relaying that word to you today because I care about you. I love you. Check me out on YouTube, Life Station Express. You can put in a comment. You can like me. You can share what I'm doing. And um, I'll see you on Facebook under Linda Craig or Food, Faith, and Friends, Let's Get Healthy or Life Station Express. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you. Bye.